Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. We are back at surviving as a trader, surviving at Mars. And I think we're going to create more of those cargo ships after the one we destroyed. So let's get started. All right. So interesting news. I was able to pull up some footage to see exactly what happened to our cargo drone as it did hit the ground. But how and why? So let's just check out that footage really quick. All right, so as you saw in the fairly bad camera work, <laughs> the cargo ship or drone just dropped because the lack of batteries. <laughs> there was a little bit of a lack of batteries in that drone because we've only used the two batteries on it. So like this specific ship is the same one, basically, except it has a cockpit on there right although it had reactors and uranium it still didn't have enough batteries to keep it afloat and when i say enough batteries even this one our ship actually has four total batteries and that cargo drone only had two so that was the faulty piece of that ship the lack of batteries so if you looked at it closely, it, it bottomed out in terms of energy. The the two drone blocks, the move and task block, rent out. And that's why the ship decided to fall. It had a lot of stuff in there too. So it was carrying a lot of weight and it was like, you know, pretty much using its thrusters 100%, thrusting everywhere around. And then it just just dropped the battery or dropped the power. So that's that was the faulty piece of that drone. It wasn't really even collision avoidance that was doing it <laughs> it was just the lack of power that did it so yeah so of course on to new things so i do want to create more of those although we don't necessarily need to create it we could just extend this into into like a big old cargo container party bus like thing but it is fun to have those cargo containers or cargo drones move around and actually collect stuff um in a pretty decent fashion so we could make a pretty simple drone system or drone building system or like a printing station um ideally we put it here because i don't really care to make a new platform <laughs> to be honest so yeah i don't know what do i want to do here all right, so I think we can make a fairly simple printing station right on this platform a bit. So I just need to move this thing right towards the middle instead, like so. And we could start building it right over here. One of the easier ways to do this is actually create the small grid on the platform and not the way we've done it before. Um, the way we did it before, which is a little bit not repeatable in the sense that um, the projector was on the small grid connector. But it makes it kind of easy to do too. So kind of just placing it like that. And, and then add the projector on right afterwards. It kind of works out okay. 
So pretty much something like that. And I should have just <laughs> switch lock this earlier on. But yeah, that's the projector. And we could just project the blueprint again. We do need to edit the blueprint slightly. As we saw, we need to add more batteries and also the side thrusting. That's what we forgot to do last time around. So we're going to figure that out and make sure not to do that again. All right. So that's the blueprint right there. And we need to do, let me lift it up a bit and then push it forward. And again, we need to do like a roll or a pitch or whatever the case may be. We are upside down that way. And, and I think we are set right there. Yeah, that looks about right. And it's more lengthy this way. So we could add in like the, um, the welders and everything like that. Kind of going from here, going backwards this way. So we do need to add a few good amounts of them. So... How are we going to do this? <laughs> we need maybe two pistons away. So that's like starting from this point. I believe. So let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. We could put a conveyor junction right over here. And then we could do a few welders. I think we need one welder either right here or right here. That should cover both um, blocks on the both sides I think and then we need one here I mean we could just do one two three four four or five total anyways we could it's not straight that's the problem <laughs> so definitely four or five of them wouldn't be too bad yeah I think we could just do that we could just basically put in more conveyor junctions right over here and maybe even up to here so like that amount right there okay the so two blocks high should be more than enough e yeah i think so all right so we'll just put in the piston right here and another one right here i don't think we need two but two two would probably be okay actually no two is gonna be a problem only because the welders is gonna be touching the projection so that's not something we can work with so if we put a welder here right over there and we extend this out we should be okay let's see if it stretches all the way up to right around here we should be pretty good and yeah, it's going to stretch way more than that. <laughs> so not a problem at all. So the other part is the bottom. So this is going to cover the top. We need one for the bottom and it can't stretch that far out. Unfortunately, if it does, then it's going to be a problem. Okay. So we do need to swap this thing out a little bit in terms of having it sideways. Then we can add a few more on here as well. So we can add, looks like, I guess that would work. One additional one right over here. Yeah, I think one here and one here, just three, should cover all our bases, I think, unless it's not going to cover this piece of it. I hope it does, to be honest. Um, it may not. Um, I hope it does though. But that should cover most of the top, most of the sides. I want to believe so. <laughs> but the bottom is the problem. So the bottom does need some help. Um, and how we're going to do that. Uh, I think we could stretch it out. Oh, we're okay to do that. Yeah. So we're going to do, we can do a pipe. Kind of like this and see it shape it down or see it down i was gonna say <laughs> and yeah that should work so actually get rid of 
That should work, but I don't think it's going to cover everything. Actually, no. It might. It might do. Yeah. I think it might do okay this way. So one there. And one on the other side. Hopefully it'll cover everything. But luckily the ship is not complicated. So there's no like hidden parts in here. So we should be okay to um, adjust if need be. And adjust I mean like hand weld it if we have to. All right, so just taking a look into our inventory, I think we have a little bit of everything, so we are good to go with this print. I really think, and I hope, this does reach up to here. We can, oop, we can always give it a shot. If it doesn't, oh well. <laughs> um, we're going to have to hand weld certain things, but if it does work out, then even better. But before we even decide to say it's all going to work out, we are definitely needing to pipe this down here as well. So luckily I remember that. Otherwise, I'll be printing basically nothing. <laughs> okay, so we should be all connected. A welder should be able to pull stuff from the cargo. Let's just double check just in case. And yep. We are good here. So that's all connected. That's all connected. I believe. Yeah. Okay. So we can easily retract this thing. And the speed that we want to go might not be. I mean, we could go that speed. It's not too bad. But let's just go point one. Oop. Point one right there. Okay. So actually, let's just <laughs> actually, no, we need it forward. Let's just bring it forward. And now we do 0.01, oh, not 0.01, 0.1 and turn on the welders and bring this thing back. Here's the group of welders. We'll turn it on, which looks good. And then we can just slowly reverse this thing back at point one. And hopefully that covers all the bases of this printout. It looks like I got the lights first and the blocks that I didn't really need to be welted up first for whatever reasons, but sure. Okay, so this is going to be a slow crawl backwards, but I think that's going to be fine. It didn't do anything about the connector in the large car container so that's the problem we're gonna run to I think the top one is gonna take care of the car container but we're gonna miss out on everything up here so this is actually a pretty bad design <laughs> in terms of this welding yeah this is not gonna work Okay, that's not too bad. <laughs> we do miss the top here a bit, but that's my fault. But anything from here on should be okay, I guess. But it really should have just been... Hmm. I think it should have just been the same lengthwise, and it should have been okay that way. Yeah, I think that would have been it. This is okay, but it's not capturing everything we need. So, yeah, that, that was a bad plan. <laughs> good news is that it is capturing a lot of the back pieces right here. So that's good, I guess. <laughs> not terrible, but once again... Not the greatest either. I'm just going to bring it a little bit forward just to see if we can do a little bit more. And then once it kind of collides a bit, I'm going to have to bring it back. Yeah, I got stuck right there. All right, so that wasn't the greatest thing or greatest move ever. <laughs> um, ow, ow, ow. I don't need to be welded. All right, so looks like we got a hand weld of few quick things. Nothing too crazy, I guess. 
All right, so if we had to do it all over again, we would probably just pipe this up. Don't know what's making that sound. Okay, <laughs> we would probably pipe it up right over here. Um, actually, you know what? Here's something we could do. Let me just grab more piping material or plumbing material. We're going to plumb it this way instead. I don't know what's going on here. I hear that. Something's crashing. <laughs> We're going to team shape that. We're going to team shape this. Oh, there you go. There's all the stuff that's making that noise, I guess. Sounds like there's more. <laughs> All right, we have the T-shapes there, and there's some materials jumping around somewhere. Can we hear it, catch it, and hear it by ear? Um, I think we're okay. <laughs> Anyways, so the idea here now, the re main reason why the bottom two was a little further back by a block was basically because of that connector right there. So instead of doing that, we could just do it this way instead dead although i still think that's gonna hit the connector but eh, we should be okay all right so that should work out a lot better but we won't know until after <laughs> we slide this one away and create a new one the only problem i see with this design is that it's now hugging really really close so even putting anything back here is gonna be a little bit rough and that is kind of where I was going to put, what was it? Um, batteries and or the side thrusters right over here. So, hmm. I could slap on more batteries right over here without any problems. I think that's what I'm going to do. So basically, we could slap on the extra batteries right here on the side and it wouldn't look too bad i mean it's okay we'll put one here and we'll put one on this side as well just to get the extra battery that it's gonna need i slap on two extra batteries and then in the back that's where we did our side thrusting so i think we should continue that piece there yeah I think we should do it that way but unfortunately we do need to fly this thing a little bit just to get it out of the way but before we do that let's just fill in what we need to fill in which is going to be the basic AI task block right over here and also the movement block so we're gonna add that right in front and there's a direction to it again once again, so this is forward. And that's his left. Okay, perfect. Alright, there we go. So there's that. I don't remember what I put over here. Um, except maybe a reactor. Yeah, it was a reactor. <laughs> we could put this elsewhere, but I'm just gonna stick it over here once again. And then we do the antenna and the remote control block, basically. So the remote control block, um, we could leave it on top or put it back here. Either one works okay. Maybe even add it up to here, <laughs> where the gyroscope ended up at one point. Um, or we leave it closer up to here or even the fact of putting it in front. I don't know. Would be nice to put it here, actually, but that's a no-go. All right, we'll just leave it over here on top of the reactor. And I'm going to put in the antenna. So the antenna can stick onto the remote control that way. Done. And, of course, the gyroscope that is not on here. We'll just put it here. That should be good for what it is currently. Okay. So we do have to make some changes too. So 
So before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's um, switch lock it off. Let's control into the grid itself. And that's not too bad. All right. So let's do the test here in terms of hitting everything. We don't max out. We are okay. Okay. So that's not bad. Um, what else is that? What else do we need to do? We did have to add, I don't think we need it, but can definitely use it was a downward thruster. And then let's just, um, bring this thing down really quick first. Wait, how did we end up flying so high up? <laughs> Jeez. I didn't realize I pressed it pressed the space bar that much to be that high up in the air. I think that's a good spot. Okay. So a reactor should actually be having uranium. Yeah, there's some uranium and the batteries need to get charged. So there's now four batteries in here and it's fully depleting in a few minutes or so, which is not great. So let's just recharge. Let's just recharge two of them for now. And that should get it from the uranium at the moment. Okay, so that's looking decent. We're gonna have to bring this thing a little bit closer to us. So we're gonna just gonna control it and try to attempt to fly it closer without breaking anything. I think that's good. Okay, get some steel plates. Um, fill in some of the missing blocks, like right there and right there. But everything else got filled in, which is great. So that's good. And we can get rid of this block if we really, really wanted to. Maybe I'll leave it for now. Um, as we're gonna blueprint. Yeah, and we're gonna blueprint this anyways. Actually, we can't even blueprint it <laughs> without adding this on anyway. So actually, no, this is a no-go. See you later. Um, see you later as well. Um, yeah, whatever, leave that exposed. <laughs> Okay, so that's ugly, but whatever. Uh, we got the battery, so we should be okay, I think. So I'm going to add on that right over there. Which I believe is what we did previously. With the large hydrogen thruster going sideways. So might as well stick with that plan. Okay. So now this thing should be able to maneuver pretty well. Let's just see, um, go in there, fly up a little bit first and then go crazy. Ooh, it bottoms out again. So that's not a good sign. <laughs> so with that happening, that tells me we need more batteries somewhere. Where do we want to add a battery? Um, we could get rid of this. And this. And I think that should help with the battery consumption a little bit. But I still think if anything, it might bottom out. Yeah, it's the bottom out. All right. So we're going to have to put a few more batteries. So that battery actually we might be okay actually um because two of the batteries are actually on recharge Oop, i don't want this charge auto the battery auto 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 we should be okay now and if i go control into it yeah we're not bottoming out okay so that's good but if we if we do want to get a little crazy with the batteries what we can do is add it right here and 
right here. So I'm okay to do something like that. Okay. Now, I don't know how far I am from the base. Oop, looks like we're pretty high up there once again. So let's just bring ourselves back down. And we should actually connect into a connector. So we can charge up a little bit as well. So this is going to be a little rough. Uh, we might not be able to connect to this connector like this anymore. So we got to figure out a new kind of situation for this. Ow. Um, I don't know. I mean, we could just do this, actually. <laughs> that should work out okay. There we go. Boom. Okay. That worked out okay. So our connector is right over here. So this is the um, cargo. The CD or cargo drone right there. Um, are right, we going to have to get those things? Ooh, that's not what I wanted. Let's group the batteries for recharge on and off and a connector. And I'll switch lock that. All right, switch lock. Um, Dampen is off to save some energy, if anything. And, well, actually, it doesn't matter. We're doing recharge anyways. So that should suck up as much power as possible. And we should be good from there. So, yeah. We should be getting thrust power. Uh, no, we should be getting power for our thrusters and everything like that now. So we should be okay. I'm um, just going to add a few little design pieces right over here. Although I should probably use half block. But I mm, think let's just go with the full blocks this time around. Just to do something like that. For no real apparent reason. Other than adding a little more to it. All right, so now this thing is sporting six batteries. <laughs> Does it need that much? Not really, but do we want to risk it? No. <laughs> so we're going to leave six batteries on this thing. I mean, each battery is pretty hefty and, and a bit of weight itself. So that's a bit of a problem on its own, but should be all right. So we should be good here. Yeah, I think we're good. We just got to wait for it to charge up a little bit, if anything. And we should be good from there. It's 57 or yeah, it's getting there. It's 50% charged. And it should reach full capacity there. And then that way we can change and update these things here so of course our automatons things like the I kind of wish this thing wasn't connected at this point for the recharge <laughs> alright that battery is not on recharge because hmm okay I'm gonna switch lock this off for a second so we can get to our batteries and save it. Let's just do all auto for now. And we got to go to our AI block. So AI blocks, these two is going to be the CD AIs. It's fine. So that way we can toggle on and off or at least on. Uh, movement blocks and all right so we're gonna keep collision avoidance on although that wasn't a problem <laughs> as we saw from that video um but we need to do this so follow me distance let's just say 50 meters is fine and speed limit we can max it out if we want to actually collision i think even i don't even think collision avoidance is even with it off, it shouldn't be a problem. Maximum altitude is 20. It was like 50 meters, even maybe even higher than that at one point. So that could have prevented it from hitting the ground. But what really happened was that it just killed all its power. 
um, by stretching itself too thin, and that's why it just drops with all the heavy cargo in there. I'm going to play around with the event controller for a second. So we'll get everyone right over here just to see what we can utilize it for. So the event... Oop. Control panel, event, controller. So what's the event? What's the conditions? Threshold, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I was hoping the event controller would be able to tell it to come a little bit lower to the ground. So in order to do something like that with the event controller, it might be a little tricky. We could play with altitude, but that's telling the thrusters to like, Cut off at a certain time or or lower the thrusters all right so it kinda hovers a little bit. So that that gets a little tricky. So we might that might not be the the play here. So so I don't know what we can do to automate it come from coming down a little bit when we're hovering above a certain base. But I think we're okay here, to be honest. I'm going to blueprint this. I should really name these things. So there's going to be the cargo drone. And again, not, <laughs> uh, in, not a very sophisticated name. So that's the name there. We'll leave the event controller there, although we don't need to use it. And this one is good to go. So we could put it back to charge really quick. And oop, 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 oop. all of that for a second. Hold on. <laughs> Let's switch lock. Let's take the six batteries and recharge. Well, it should be the ship's battery. So bats. Ooh, we have a few kind of named the same thing. But well, here's one, two, three, four, five, six batteries on recharge. Perfect. So that should recharge should be all right. Yellow. I think yellow is the recharge color, right? Yeah, it should be. So we'll, we'll let this recharge that 59% on that one outside. I'm sure this one's probably at 20%, 28%. All right. That was a decent guess. <laughs> all right. So we're good there for now. We have this blueprint it so we can always rebuild it, but letting it recharge is going to take a little bit of time. So let's just go start some trading, which we didn't do this morning. So let's just get on with that. So in terms of our credit balance, woo, nearly 18 mil. Nice. All right. So it's going to be reduced now since we're going to spend on it, <laughs> but yes. All right, so all that three mil for the metal grids just traded up for potentially gold ore. Should that be the strat there? Probably. We could probably use it because of the jump drive. So we could spend on that for it to refine. And I think that is what I'm going to do. What happened? Why is my base no longer connected? Did it find a way to disconnect us? From the base for whatever reasons. Right, we are connected. So what was that about? Um, Did something break along the way? I thought that was a break point right there. No, we... We should still be okay. Yeah, the connectors connect. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure what that was about. That's kind of weird. All right, let's try it again. There we go. I don't know what that was about, but all right. Lucky nothing recycled or, or refreshed, so we should be okay. Hydrogen. We got 2,100 KLs worth. Once again, we are going to have to fill up our tanks here. So we'll look for something uh, that doesn't have too much. This one doesn't have too much, and we should be good. Iron ingots. I don't know why you're not selling ores anymore, but we are going to buy ingots because we need it. And uranium ore. What happened to all of that? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, motors we don't have too much of. And that is 
Probably because we don't have any iron for it. <laughs> and if we don't have any iron for it, then we could potentially, potentially add in that um, aspect of it. So, well, what I mean by that is dismantling <laughs> some things. So motors were supposed to queue up a thousand, but we only got like 200 or so. And I'm pretty sure that is because we have no iron to refine or iron ores at least. So here it is. Yeah. So here is producing all that. Ooh, all that metal grids. Once again, that's a lot of metal grids to kind of go through. Do we need another assembler? I feel like we put in another assembler a lot faster, but the bottleneck is the resource. <laughs> but in terms of the resources, we could this mantle let's just say 5k worth of um steel plates because i don't think we need that much steel plates currently i mean we will but not just yet so maybe it is smarter to do it that way i'm not sure okay so with the trade done cargo ship drone whatever you want to call yourself we're still not fully powered up hmm <laughs> i was hoping we would be at least decently powered up like this ship is pretty well powered up. Okay. So if this is well powered up, I'm just going to take it off of here. Oh, it was recharging also. So that's probably a uh, not so great thing. Ooh, we just crashed into that one. All right. We'll just turn dampeners off and leave this as is. Uh, batteries on this thing. Is it on recharge as well? No, we don't have it recharging here. But we can stockpile for some hydrogen. Looks good. We should refill it with a missile if we hopefully we don't forget. But this cargo drone. Did I unclick recharge by mistake? Because it's green. Everything's green. Hmm. Did I change it just before? I didn't think I did, but oh well. <laughs> all right let's fly this thing right over here so just to bring it over here but before we do that okay we are not bottoming out which we look like a little bit yeah just the tad um more power because i'm afraid when we add more stuff into it then that's the biggest problem problem in terms of it bottoming out all right so that's going to connect right over here we'll leave it as that um i think and i hope i blueprinted it with the all the batteries and everything like that as well so let me just check yeah it has the batteries we're good so once again if we want to build another one and i feel like having a small fleet of them and us by a small fleet of them I just mean two. <laughs> Alright, so we can put a connector right over here. And once again, it's not straight now, but we can slightly adjust it if we need to. I think we're good. Might be slightly off. Um, no, I think that's fine. Alright, so here is the connector this is gonna be cd2 i guess you can call it i don't know <laughs> come up with the weirdest names um that don't really make much much sense but yeah we're good with this we're at two blocks here for now and our projector right here the more importantly the projector more than the light armor blocks right over here but i ended up welding that up somehow anyways okay <laughs> all right so now we'll take the projector blueprint this thing that we just created and get this thing situated so let me go bring this up by a little bit bring it forward and it looks like we need to make some changes the positioning of all this. Okay, I think I have it placed correctly. I want to say yes. 
<laughs> um, missing something here. That's interesting. I just put it on one side. Never mind. Um, all right. So this is our projection. This is what we wanted. So let's bring this guy up front. And it should cover most of the ship itself. I hope, at least. All right, since we have that kind of moving ever so slowly, we're going to add a bit of a sci-fi button right over here if we can. All right, perfect. So our welders need a group. And our piston, which is this piston 2, we can rename this to piston print. Let's just do that. The button one here is going to be the group of welders to toggle on and off. This one is going to be, I guess we could just do toggle on and off. Print. This one we could do same thing thing i guess toggle on um retract or reverse so it does extend and retracting what else is there do you want to increase the speed we could we could increase velocity we get the increase velocity here and that should do it all right so toggle welders looking good we're at point one so start doing our reverse and hopefully this thing gets all printed out all right so that's about it in terms of the Printing. It's still slightly off, <laughs> unfortunately. So it didn't finish up this thruster right over here, and it fits in pieces of uh, beam blocks. So not that great. But like I said, a sidewards printing would be a lot better for this ship specifically. So we don't have a new platform for it. I didn't want to build a new platform for it. So that's what happened. <laughs> and actually why I didn't build most of this stuff is actually or finish building out some of the stuff was actually the missing motors that we didn't have so that was the problem it seems yeah we're also missing power cells so that's that's why certain things we're in making but I guess for the most part the beam blocks should have been made <laughs> But based on how far it is, once it retracted, it, it shouldn't, it couldn't make it, it couldn't get to it and make it in time. But it looks like, I mean, these are minor things, so we could just do it by hand, no problem. All right, so that should take care of most of that drone. We did zap ourselves to death a bit and almost forgot to take care of the sleep. So it is nighttime, so why not just go to bed anyways? All right, it's daytime once again, and we need to situate our food. Okay, so our food should be in here somewhere. Here's our tofu. Okay, let's go. Let's just go eat in our ship instead of the home. Eat that. And that should take care of food and water close to 100%, which is great. 80%, not bad. <laughs> Put on the helmet. Let's get back to work. And we are nearly done here. Yes. We were missing a ton of motors, which is the problem here. Motors and power cells. Those are the main things 
we were missing here for the printer to really build out everything specifically. So a little bit of issues there, uh, but it's okay. We should have put a cat. We, we didn't add a camera, which we should add a camera. I think I'm okay without a camera just for now. <laughs> And we're so close that we can't have these welded as well. So that's a bit of a problem. And we do need that. So we can thrust and turn. Huh. <laughs> yeah, it's just way too close, I guess. All right, I'm just going to dismantle this welding project, which didn't really turn out that, that great. All right, so we're going to have to hand do this ourselves, I guess. And we're still missing motors. Can we stop building steel plates and build some motors for now? <laughs> and build out this one. And this one, which is the tail end. Literally the tail. The tail end of our thrusting problem. Right, so now we have two drone systems right over here. Um, everything should still have its own naming convention and everything like that. Hopefully. It's probably the same as that one, so that becomes a, a bit of an issue. Um, but everything here looks good. I think we can get rid of this projector now. Yeah, why not? Right here is supposed to be event controller, but we're not going to weld that up. It's fine. And we have very little batteries in here, so we should recharge. But I don't know what's what in terms of the current status of um, the ship here. Now let's just switch unlock it for now. And control it, if anything. Okay, so this is the specific one. Okay. So, same thing. Connect it here. Taco on off is not what I want. It's switch lock. Uh, batteries or grouping of batteries, they do need to change. It says bats. So bats should be, car I guess, like cargo or CD2. And we can remove this one. Okay, so it looks like we're waiting for both things to recharge, which is going to be a bit of a pain. Um, and slow process, but it should be all right. So this is about 30% charge. Same for this one, I would think. Yep. So we're going to have to wait for these things to recharge. So we can have our little fleet going. So of course, recharging without this being locked would be a little bit harder to do. <laughs> and we're currently in a bit of a storm, but our turbines are Bending really, really slowly. That's pretty interesting. So I, I guess it's a different type of storm, not the wind storm. <laughs> so that's why we're we're not getting as much power. But we could put a reactor on the base. That could be a thing to get ourselves more power. But we should still have a decent amount of power in these things. Yeah. So not sure why our small ships are not getting enough power into them quickly. Maybe I'll do some discharge right over here. So it can take care of the recharge process over here. Still quite slow as you see right there. All right. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe, and also I'll see you guys next time. Bye.